very great. This camp is very great. Y'all right. have no idea what is going on. Right. I know you guys walk back up and forth, act like everything groovy after y'all put us through slavery. But guess what? Payment is coming. Payment is coming for what you guys have done and continue to do to us till this day. You, you stack us up in the prison system. You shoot us down in the street like we're dogs. What happened to Mike Brown? What happened to Trayvon Martin? This man walked free. But if you punch a police dog in the face, you get life. You did it, but you're... Okay, read that. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. Uh -huh. For his camp is very great. Read. For he is strong that execute of his word. We are strong to execute his word. I know you, I know you guys walk back and forth. You act like you don't see us. But trust me, you're going to see us when that day comes. When the Most High give us that authority and give us that call, this world is over as we know it. It's over. This is over for y'all. For what you've done to our forefathers, what you continue to do to our babies, you push homosexuality, acting like that's, that's righteous. That is not righteous, man. Give me 1 John 5, 19. You guys vex the saints in the earth. You guys have been vexing us since you've been on this earth. You got it? Sister, let me ask you a question before y'all go. Do y'all feel like, do y'all feel like this was right? It's an American thing. It's an American thing? Yeah. No, this happened in South America too. Oh, I'm saying, I'm from Portugal. Portugal's half mm. African. Everyone walks free. You say half what? Half of Portugal's African. They walk all free and eat. Did, 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 where, where did slave ships go? Didn't, didn't slaves go? Didn't slaves go there too? It's not, it's not just America, this is all over the earth. Give me 1 John 5, 19. Okay, so my question is, does somebody have to pay for what they did to my great-great-grandmother, my great-grandfather, and we still continue to live in the slums till this day? Does somebody have to pay for that? Yes, somebody has to pay for it. Yes or no? Hold on, wait, 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 <laughs> okay. That's that's not true. No, that's not true. First John 519 and I'm looking for someone. And okay. this is the book of first. Hold on, I want to hear the sister's point. The only thing we can do is all these people around everywhere around the world, only thing we can do is speak. And it starts with us as black people, us as black people, us as black it doesn't matter. It starts up. What is that? It doesn't start with hating others. It starts with us. All right, all right, all right, all right. First thing is All right. You're pagan? You sure you want to say that? I don't think you know what you're saying. Why do you, I'm very happy with my life. I respect everybody. Why do you have time to sit there and criticize other people about what they do in their daily life? If other people stop worrying about what the hell other people are doing, Okay. Now watch this. Now watch this. Now watch this. Brother, is this your girl? That's my wife. That's your wife, right? You should be talking for your wife. What? No. You should be talking. You. No. Give me that. Give me that. And I'm going to get something else. And you should be talking for your wife. Because I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say anything and get, get her riled up. You see this? You see this? You see? Go watch this. A lot, of you, a lot of you have weak brothers, man. A lot of you have weak brothers. The fact that you, he let you walk over here to a bunch of grown men and run your mouth like that, it shows me the order. It shows me the order in your house. Read that, read that. Read that. Read that. It's the book of 1 Kings, chapter 8 and verse 47. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. hold it back. Yes. If no. they shall bethink themselves uh -huh. in the land whither they were carried out. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. They were carried where? Captives. Where we were carried hold captives. Hold where we slaves, read on. And repent. Hold uh -huh. on. And make supplication uh -huh. to be in the uh -huh. of them that carry she them. She said, why are we teaching? We, we make no sense. Bro. We are here wasting no, our time. Bro. Bro. We are here wasting our time, right? Read on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You talking Somebody about that recorded that. Read, read, read. 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 And make supplication to be in the land of them that carry them back to saying, We have sinned. We have sinned. That's what we're trying to tell our people to do. Confess your sins. We have sinned against our Heavenly Father. This is why we live at the bottom. This is why we live in the sun. This is why we're in the ghetto. That's fine. That's fine. But most of us do. I'm
I'm here to okay, speak. But what I'm here to you speak for, for the young men who don't have no voice. Look, okay. I'm here to speak for the young brothers who are about to get shot down tonight. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But you're doing it in the wrong way. And if you don't have a voice, why you have a reason to Give me first Corinthians 11 and 3. 11 and 3. 11 and 3. Read. 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 See, you had a look. This is your wife, right? Get some order, all right? Because we tell you don't sleep around, 
Because we tell you to keep the Shabbat. Because we tell you don't be a harlot. Am I your enemy because I tell you the truth? Yes. Read that. Uh, and this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, and verse 2. You women are out of order, man. Read. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me uh -huh. and set me upon my feet. Uh -huh. Then I heard him that spoke unto me. We heard, we heard the voice of our Lord. We heard the voice of our God. Read on. And he said unto me, Son of man. I sent thee to the children of Israel. To the children of Israel, read on. To be a rebellious, to a rebellious nation. To a what? To a rebellious nation. To a what? To a rebellious nation. To a what? To a rebellious nation. Read on. That have rebelled against me. That have rebelled against him. You guys rebel against God, but guess what? Your time is coming. I know you think it's funny. I know y'all think it's cool. I know it. You laugh. You laugh. Give me Proverbs 1 and give me Proverbs 1 and 22. My last state, my last scripture. Calamorous woman, simple and don't know nothing. You women ain't gonna be like that in the kingdom, man. We're gonna set order back in this earth. That's right. Read that, hurry up, ah. And this is the book yeah, of Luke. Yeah, I know, Chapter read on. Six and verse 23. Listen now. Listen up, someone. Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. For behold, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. Our reward is great in heaven. I know you guys laugh at us. You think it's cool. Because we're telling you to keep the law. We're telling you don't eat pork. Don't eat shrimp. Take a day off for, your, for yourself in the most high. We wrong. We're telling you don't sleep around. We wrong. Wear modest apparel. Respect yourself. Act like a king. Act like a princess. We wrong. Verse 25. Uh -huh. Woe unto you that are full. Woe unto you that what? That are full. That are full. Woe unto you, destruction unto you that are full. Read. For ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now. For ye shall mourn. Read that, read that one again. Woe unto you that what? Woe unto you that laugh now. Woe unto you that laugh now. Y'all laugh at us. We know. We the big joke in the neighborhood, right? Read on. For ye shall mourn and weep. You're going to mourn and weep. That time is coming for y'all. Right. See, you women come up here running your damn mouth, acting like everything is sweet. But I know why you do it. The government has set up certain orders in the earth that, elects you to, that allows you to speak crazy to a man like that. You are not my equal. I'm a man, you are a woman. It is time to put righteousness back in the earth. You need to understand that. Give me Proverbs 122. A lot of y'all come up here just running your mouth and y'all don't know what y'all talking about. What's the problem? Sisters, can I talk to y'all for a second? Can I show you who you are according to the Bible? For five minutes. For five minutes. Yes, I'm, thank you. Give this sister a round of applause for stopping. That's right. So I'm here to show you who you are according to the Bible. Do y'all know y'all nationality? What's y'all nationality? Jamaican and Dominican? You too? Okay. Now I want to show you something, right? After slavery, what they did to us, we lost our heritage. There's no such thing as Jamaican in the Bible. There's no such thing as Dominican in the Bible, right? What they've done to us after slavery, they said, hey, we call this land Jamaica. Now you're Jamaican and we've carried that name until today. But today is where it's going to be a new day and I'm going to show you who you are according to the Bible. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. It's a reason, even in Jamaica, right? They call Jamaica a third world country. Here today, blacks and Hispanics, we, we live in the hoods, in the slums, and we know that we are special people for some reason. We the best at sports, we good at math, we good at reading, everything we do, we look like superstars in it. But why is it that we living on the bottom? Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. And this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And, verse 4. Read. and thou, even thyself, even you, yourself read now listen up shall discontinue from thy inheritance that i gave thee the heritage that we originally had the most high took that away from us because we sinned against him our fathers our forefathers the one that went through slavery the ones that got hung from the trees and drugged from the back of the truck we sinned against the heavenly father right so this is why we're in this condition today give me deuteronomy 28 and 15. now nah, drop that 28 15. because i know these sisters want to go I, I need to tell you who you are before y'all leave. 
You are the real Jews according to the Bible. You are God's chosen people. And don't let nobody come and take that away from y'all. Because once you know that, you are greatness in the earth. I'm telling y'all. You got it? And this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Now, five more minutes. I'm going to show y'all what happened, what God did to us. Something that was in the Bible that churches don't teach us. Read on. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because our forefathers didn't listen to our God. Our God gave us real, real instructions to follow up until this day. Read on. To observe, to do all his commandments. To observe and do all his commandments. Read. And statutes, uh -huh. which I gave thee this day. He gave it to us. You, you, us, all of us. He gave it to us. Read. That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. All these curses. Is curses a good thing or a bad thing? It's bad, right? Go ahead, read on. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses are going to come upon us and take us. This is why you see black men getting shot down in the street. This is why we make up, what, 65, 75% of the jail system. Why is it that we living on the bottom, but we, 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 are, we know we are special people. Why are we living at the bottom? Nobody can give us answers. Martin Luther King tried to save us. Tupac tried to save us. But nobody can save us. For what? Read. 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now listen, hold on. The Lord said he's going to bring us into Egypt again with ships. Show me what, show them what Egypt is. Exodus 20 and 2. He said he's going to put us in Egypt again. Because everybody knows that Jews were slaves in Egypt at a point in time, right? Y'all know that? Y'all know the basics? Okay, so we were slaves in Egypt at a point in time. Read. Exodus 20 and 2. Uh-huh. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. He's the Lord thy God that brought us out of the land of Egypt. Read. Out of the house of bondage. So that word Egypt means house of bondage. We came here in bondage and we never left, we never went back home. Even in the islands. Y'all came there in the islands and y'all never went back home. Right? Jump back to 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He brought us into Egypt again with ships, right? Where's that? Where's the flyer? Back, back. He brought us into Egypt again with ships, right? So what other nation on this planet Earth did he do this to? We are the only people that went into slavery by ships. And That's right. By ships. This is the only people. By these curses, we know who we are, right? Read on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, uh -huh. by the way whereof I spake unto thee. That he spake unto us, right? Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. We never seen our homeland again. We never went back home. This is slavery, man. A lot of people became complacent with what's going on today. Let me tell you something. Putting us through school, getting $100,000 loans, and then come out to work 40 to 60 hours a week, this ain't life. This ain't life, man. For what they've done, they're going to pay for this, thus saith the Most High. Read on. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. You were sold, right? Weren't we the only people that were sold? Weren't your forefathers sold? In Jamaica, they were sold. In America, they were sold. Brazil, South America, they were sold. The only people who this happened to. Read on. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. We were sold unto our enemies. Uh -huh. For bondmen. For slave men. And bond women. For slave women. And we've been slaves for 400 years. Why is it that we don't work at these high corporations? Why is it that we're not living on the edge of the beach? We stuck in the middle of the ghetto and in the slum, and nobody can't tell us why. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. They not teaching our people who we are, man. Y'all are special people. Y'all are special people. Y'all need to act like queens. Y'all need to address modestly. Y'all need to carry yourself presentably. Because let me tell you something. I'm gonna give y'all a little, uh, 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 some wisdom real quick. When a man comes and approaches y'all, and y'all act a certain way, or even if you're dressed a certain way, right? And I'm not saying, I'm not getting on y'all right now. I'm just giving y'all knowledge. When a man approaches you that way, he believes you are a certain way. So when you lay down on your back for a man, or you talking to that man for however long, and then he dog you, you gotta understand, the red flags were there. The red flags were there, read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven and verse six. Uh -huh. For thou art in holy people. You are in holy people. Holy means separate. Yes, unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. He's chosen you. He chose y'all, right? Read. To be a special people. To be a what? A special people. To be a special people. Read on. Unto himself. Unto himself. Read on. Above all people. Above all people. Read. That are upon the face of the earth. That are upon the face of the earth. He's special people. God said he erased our heritage, but he's going to raise back up the prophets to show y'all who y'all are again. Y'all got to come back to these laws and these commandments. This is your righteousness. 
Yeah. This is how this is how you get out of the bondage. This is how you get out the mindset of being just somebody that's black, being somebody that's Jamaican, right? Give me um, let me get um, Jeremiah seventeen. I got that. Jeremiah yeah. four six. It's a lot. Brain is not working. But what I'm trying to tell y'all, man, y'all gotta come back and keep these laws. These laws are what's gonna help y'all in this society. Because when you keep these laws, they can't touch you. God knows what's going on. He puts angels around us. And right now, there's angels camped on, camping around us. You know, people come up, come, come up to us with knives and machetes. We're not, we're not afraid of that. We are here to be God's ministers. Read that. This is the book of Hosea, chapter four, and verse six. Uh -huh. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Right? Our people walk around calling themselves black and nigger and I'm a thug, but that's a lack of knowledge. You don't know who you are. Read on. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, uh -huh. I will also reject thee. He will reject them if y'all reject knowledge. Read. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Uh -huh. Seeing thou hast forgotten thee, Shalaki. See, Shalaki. See, thou hast forgotten the, right. the law of thy God. Uh -huh. I will also forget thy children. Your children when you have them right when you have children you want them to be righteous right don't y'all want to be righteous women y'all want to y'all aspire to be righteous right give me deuteronomy 6 and 25 and i'm gonna show you how to be righteous because the church is not teaching us these things the church teaches you come to sunday church and i'm gonna let y'all go i know y'all got things to do but the church tell y'all to come to church and you pay tithes and you feel good from the words that they're saying but this is not true right read on this is the book of deuteronomy chapter 6 and 25 and it shall be and it shall be our righteousness. This is how you become righteous. This is how you be a righteous woman. If we observe to do all his all these commandments before the Lord our God as he have commanded us. Right. This is how we be righteous. We gotta keep these laws and these commandments. Um does somebody did somebody give them a flyer? So what I want y'all to do, y'all take this flyer. Y'all go home and research. Research what I'm saying. I'm not here to bamboozle you or trick you. Do some research, Google it. We have a school in Broward Boule on Broward Boulevard. If y'all need knowledge, come through. Shalom. And with that being said, back to America and shalom to Israel.